I'm Jill Morton and welcome to my studio. Hi, I'm Jill Morton and I'm coming to you from Bridgeport, Connecticut. I am an abstract painter and mixed media artist. I use acrylics on canvas and paper. I'd like to just tell you a little bit about myself. I was born in Australia. I left there in 1972 and I left to pursue some traveling and also art. So my first stop was in England where I pursued uh, pottery and then I went off traveling uh, overland through Asia. And that's where I think most of my uh, inspiration really comes from in my paintings today. The colors of India, the textiles, the textures, the teeming mass humanity of Asia is something that is really um, of importance to me and my work. I ended up in uh, taking a studio here in Bridgeport, Connecticut in 2014 and I'm going to take you on a, a little studio tour of my very humble small space which I am outgrowing very very quickly and soon I will be doubling that size when the Nest Arts, Arts Factory moves to a new building. I'm so looking forward to showing you my current work. Into my studio, the first thing I do is be thankful first for my studio space. Um, I set up a clean palette. This is a palette leftover. Underneath this stand are my colors and my colors I categorize into warm and cool. So in here I place all my blues. On the bottom are the warm colors. In here I have a variety of reds. Uh, I buy a variety of um, makers of paints, some Liquitex, some Goldens. Yellows I've been discovering just a very late and so I have a lot of different kinds that I'm experimenting with and certainly I love the uh, raw sienna and Naples yellow. Over here on this windowsill area I have my beautiful candle and I'm not always painting in the studio. A lot of times I'm also just reading and studying and getting myself into a zone. Or sometimes I'm just drawing to loosen up my arm and get my energy moving. A lot of these books are from my college days. I obtained a Bachelor of Fine Art in New York City and then uh, two masters from Teachers College and taught art to children for 21 years. I'm liking these broad, um, wide brushes these days. Uh, my very favorite is my chip brush. That is just a kind of like a varnish brush you get from Home Depot. When I do sketch, um, I try to work out a composition or the alternative to a composition where I'm particularly stuck on a work. These are just quick energy uh, sketches that I talked about with drawing materials. This is a painting I've named Tulip Tango. It was created in my home studio. It is about the flowers that I um, saw on my walks. I decided that I would try to uh, reproduce it in some way. So I joined Fine Art, Fine Art America and I was able to have the painting made on 
uh, cell phone covers and masks, these products for sale. You can also, if you're interested uh, in getting a print of any of my paintings, uh, I would be happy to make them available to you on Fine Art America. This is a piece that I call Mardi Gras. And I am trying to just give you the impressions that I got when I was there. I had the fifth graders make Mardi Gras masks. So Mardi Gras is really something that's very integrated into my being. Um, in this work, I have limited my palette. I'm basically working in the greens and the pinks. Uh, the gray is there to help neutralize the um, painting. I mean, this is a very strong. This is a viridian green and phthalo blue that I love so much together. This painting, I am just absolutely in love with the amount of color that I have going on in here. By using the tones, I'm neutralizing some of the pure strength, say, of this uh, vermilion that I have going on here that's so luscious. So it's a whole process of exploring the color and the movement. And this is called Misty Waters. And this is about the rain uh, coming up against the glass of my uh, bedroom and providing this kind of misty spring scene. Swimming upstream. It is a work about feeling frustrated with the painting itself. Knew that I wanted to work in a limited palette of blues. Also was struggling to get some energy into the work. It kept getting lost on me. It's all about the brush mark, this painting. So I hope that you, like me, enjoy seeing the textures of the paint through the brush. It's about the brushwork, it's about the energy, and it's about the softness. It's about the sky and the beautiful blues. And of course, at sunset, the pinks and oranges. paintings were created uh, a day apart from one another and they are inspired by a trip that I did to the National Botanical Gardens in Washington DC to see the beautiful lotus flower. It's a spectacular, spectacular thing to see. I have not painted them the colors of the lotus at all. It's just a feeling. This particular day I had some jazz on and this work came about just in a very, very happy, light state. Not the way that the shapes are all tumbling down the canvas. I want to say thank you for visiting my studio tour and I want to ask you to please follow me at Jill Morton Art on Instagram and I also want to say if you're interested in any of the works you saw today or you would like to make a private appointment to visit me in my studio, you can send me a DM on Instagram at Jill Morton Art. Thank you for coming.